What's going on, T2s? Ghost Recon 2 here, Big Zilly just calling me too, and welcome to a video that I've been wanting to make for a very long time. I've always wanted this channel to be kind of more than just gaming, I wanted to be kind of more about hobbies and uh, things personal to me that I can share with you guys and hopefully that you guys can share back. Um, and this is one of them that I'm pretty sure I've mentioned before in videos and streams is that I'm a huge pop vinyl fan collector. There's a nice Stanley there from Kamikaze a few years back. Um, yes, I'm a, I'm a huge collector. Uh, I have probably about 100 at this point. I don't actually know. I've been counting them in a very long time. But um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of share you guys with my collection and I wanted to uh, bring you guys up to speed on popping a box in the background and I'll probably make this a monthly series where every month I'll kind of update you guys on the collection if there's been any additions or any departures sometimes I sell them if I need to make a little bit of money which is unfortunate but I'm not the richest person in the world so I can't always feed the addiction as much as I would like to but pop in a box is a way to help you guys uh, feed your collection as well as help me potentially build mine. So let me uh, show you guys around the site here real quick. Pop in a box, you can either do a few things on here. You can order pops straight from them or you can use their subscription service right here. And what this does is you can choose between 1, 3, 6, and 12. And every month you'll pay, you'll pay a flat fee and they'll send you 1, 3, 6, or 12 pops. And the catch is they'll only send you pops that you want. They'll never send you anything that you don't want, which you can just use the handy dandy pop tracker. And give thumbs up to ones that you'd like to get and thumbs down to ones you don't want to get. And then you can also add pops that you already own to your collection so that they'll never send you a duplicate and it's really cool but the catch is also don't think that you can just come on here and select a bunch of uh, rare ones like you see I have a few rare ones selected on here but don't think you can just come on here and get select a bunch of rare ones because they'll only send you ones that they have access to so say you get the three month subscription or the three pop subscription and uh, they only have two that are on your list at the moment they'll only bill you for two and until they get that third one, and then they'll bill you for the third one and stuff like that. So it's a it's a cool little subscription service to help you build your collection, and it's always a mystery every month as to which one you're going to get from the ones that you want. So it's pretty cool. Um, I've gotten a pretty good amount of exclusive ones. Um, I've gotten Angry Groot. I've gotten the Walgreens exclusive Punisher. I've gotten. The Walgreens exclusive Black Panther Unmasked, Target exclusive Crossbones, Hot Topic exclusive Falcon. Um, <clears throat> we've gotten some pretty good, uh, some pretty good rare ones that I could not actually find in my area or online. And I've only paid ten bucks. I only usually get one pop a month, so <clears throat> uh, ten bucks for Angry Groot, which is like a twenty-five dollar valued pop. That is not a bad deal at all. So. Yeah, if you guys want to sign up, go ahead and find any of the links that are in my description or on my channel somewhere. You'll be able to find them. And you'll get 20% off your first month's order or off a random order anywhere on the site. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Pop in a Box. Like I said, it'll probably be a monthly uh, series here where I update you and open up whatever I get from them. So go check them out. And this video will probably be long unless I decide to split it into parts, but we're going to get on to the collection showing off portion. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this far. If you want to feed the addiction, go ahead and click the link in the description and help me feed my addiction. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a few seconds because you'll be watching me as I record my collection but I guess I'll see you guys in a month from this angle mm. alright I hope this recording turns out okay I'm using my phone's camera uh, I've never really used it to record before for YouTube so hopefully it looks good but uh, we're gonna get on to the entire collection of Funko Pop vinyl or Funko stuff in general. 
Uh, before we go through these guys here, let me just show you back here. We got a Target exclusive Kylo Ren hanging out. We got the Black Ranger, which that is my newest pop. That's the one that I bought most recently. We have Iron Man 3, Iron Patriot. And then we have uh, Star Wars Han Solo, Luke Crate exclusive, Snow Gear. Uh, so he's hanging out back there. Um, I've actually tried to sell uh, those three, except for the Black Ranger because he's new. I'm not going to sell him because I just bought him. And, uh, you know, sometimes you just have to sell them. They're good to have because they're kind of like a bank. They're all worth something in the end. And then uh, if you have some financial issues, then you can just sell one and boom, you're set for a little bit. So here we have the Mystery Minis. Got Howard the Duck up front. He's not a Mystery Mini, but he's hanging out with them because he's pretty small. Uh, we've got most of the Age of Ultron mystery minis back here. Uh, I don't think we completed the set, but we do have most of them. We have the two Ant-Mans. We have the Dorbs back there. We have Loki, Ultron. Uh, we have the Fallout 4 bobblehead. He's not Funko, but he's, he's cool. So uh, we got the Bobblers, which were the Marvel Collector Core exclusive. Uh, they're like uh, ornaments. Uh, we have Cap and Deadpool back there. As doors, we have the Cowboy Deadpool, which is the Marvel Collector Core exclusive as well. We have uh, the Flash hanging out back there. And then we have Wonder Woman. Uh, I don't know why I got those. I do like the Flash. That's about it. Other than that, I don't really care for DC too much. Uh, we have Hulkbuster. We have uh, an old Thor, like Nick Fury. I'm not going to go through all of them, but we just have most of the Age of Ultron ones, and we have uh, a lot of, and we have a few of the Captain America Civil War ones, so kind of set them up just along here, and we'll put him back up there, don't want him to get lost, and then we'll move on to the first set of pops, which is this little shelf right here, uh, we have, this isn't a pop, this is just Baby Winston from the Overwatch pre-order at GameStop, so we'll go down there, we have Mr. Matt, I got last year when they went into the World Series because uh, I'm a huge Mets fan. <clears throat> we have John Hancock Fallout 4. We have uh, T60 Power Armor, which I believe I got both of those from Pop in a Box, which I talked about earlier. Uh, we got Target exclusive Ric Flair. He's pretty cool. Woo! We got the uh, Joker Batman Batman from Loot Crate. This is one of my first pops actually. Uh, it was back before I started collecting, but I had it because Loot Crate sent it to me and I didn't know what it was. Uh, we have Loot Crate exclusive Dr. Emmett Brown from fucking Back to the Future. Yep, right. <clears throat> um, we have Black and White Daryl Dixon from Walmart, Walmart exclusive. <clears throat> uh, Fallout 4 Lone Wanderer. Uh, Deathstroke. From Flash, or not Flash, Arrow, Arrow TV show. Oliver Queen from Arrow TV show. We have The Flash from The Flash TV show. We have Batman Beyond, which is one of my favorite renditions of Batman. It's probably like the only one that I really like a lot. Um, I wish I had the Metallic one. It was Fug Fugitive Toys exclusive Metallic, I believe, but I don't have it. Uh, we have the PX exclusive uh, Deathstroke Metallic right here. He looks fucking badass. He's got a, got the red eye. And just looking really cool. <clears throat> then the back here, I won't take these down. But we have uh, the regular power armor. And then we have the Walgreens exclusive Riot Gear Snow or Stormtrooper. <clears throat> and then we have the Chrome Captain Phasma, as well as the TIE Fighter Pilot. And then Super Mutant, and those two right there. They're uh, a Smuggler's Bounty exclusive, which I only did like the first month though, because I wanted to, wanted her, I wanted the chrome. <clears throat> so that's the first shelf, and then we'll move on to the second line, which uh, I'll be right back for.